What's up guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and today we're gonna to be going over the UEFI BIOS that is on ASUS's Z87 Sabertooth motherboard. Now, this is the easy mode. So normally when you boot into your BIOS, this is what you're gonna see. And this is pretty much for people who may not really want to go into the BIOS fully, kind of just are new to you know changing things in the BIOS. So there are some things that you can do in here, um, especially with the Z87 motherboards, they've changed some things around so um, one of the first things they change is you can actually set your XMP profiles without having to really go into the bio so here you can set the different profiles or disable them um, and of course it's going to give you all of your DRAM information as well you have your CPU information over here so it's going to show you your temperature and your voltage of course um, you know your time date and all of that stuff right here as well as you know the BIOS version all uh, your CPU information your memory size all of that you also have your fans so you can go ahead and set up your fan modes um, whether standard silent turbo or manual right in here so you don't have to go into the BIOS to do that another thing you can also do is set up your uh, performance mode so power saving normal or ASUS optimal you can go ahead and set all that up again without having to go in the BIOS and boot price Priority, you can set that however you like right here as well now of course um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going actually into the advanced mode so you can either hit F7 to go into advanced mode or you can just you know click here and exit and we're gonna go into advanced mode so now we're in advanced mode so this is pretty much the normal BIOS that you're like you know you're used to seeing and again it is a UEFI BIOS so that means you can use your mouse and keyboard um, just makes it a lot easier so on our main information page right here it's gonna give us all the information um, of course more detailed than the actual easy mode um, you can set your system language and of course you can go to security and set up administrator password and user password AI tweaker now if you're gonna be overclocking this is what you're going to be going into so um, it's gonna show you all your targets for everything so that's good so if you're overclocking you want to know you know what what different things are gonna add up to a certain speed it's gonna show you all your targets here so we're actually overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz right now um, and we'll go down and show you that. So you can set, you know, all of your XMP profiles, your CPU strap, your PLL selection, filter PLL, uh, BCLK frequency, which of course is important for overclocking, multi-core enhancement, and your core ratio. And again, you can you can set it to auto, you can set it to per core, and you can set it to sync of all cores. So we're syncing all cores at 4.6. Uh, we'll change that back though to the normal default of the 4770K, which is 35, and we hit enter. And of course, all of those will change. Of course, you can set up your DRAM frequency and your OC tuner. Now, what's cool about the OC tuner is what this is, is this is you know auto overclocking that is built into the BIOS here. So what you can do is you can set it to as is, which means you're gonna be doing the overclocking yourself, or you can go ahead and set it to ratio first and BCLK first. And if you go into our overclocking section, you can, um, of this actual review, you will see what each one of those does. So this one's gonna overclock, um, ratio it's going to set it's going to change your ratio first and this one's going to change your bclk first to find the best overclock that it can do by itself so if you're new to overclocking you might want to try that first of course you know you can go into your dram timings and you can change all of that as you wish um, digi power control of course you can change all of your power settings for your cpu and your dram and CPU power management, of course, all of your different things. And this is where you can um, enable or disable Intel speed step technology and turbo mode. You can set all that up yourself. And then of course, we're gonna go into all of our voltages. So all of your voltages are listed here and you can set those up however you would like. Very easy to do. Um, of course, don't change things if you don't know what you're doing, but all of your voltages are right here. If we go into advanced, that's everything that would be in your normal BIOS. So your CPU configuration, PCH, SATA, system agent configuration, USB configuration, platform miscellaneous configuration, onboard devices configuration, your APM and your network stack configuration. We're not gonna go into all of those because this is pretty much the basic things that are on your motherboard. Pretty much every motherboard you're gonna see this, uh, see this in here. So we'll go to monitor, and this is gonna show us all of our temperatures, fan speeds, and voltages. So, you know, maybe you're overclocking, and before you get into Windows, you kinda of wanna see where everything's at. Of course, you don't wanna, you know, overheat your CPU or anything like that, and you wanna see your fans, how they're running, 
and all your all of your voltages you can go ahead and do that and we can move down and see everything and of course you can set up your fan speed controls so you can set um i have these on auto and you can set different ones but you can also set low limits so if for some reason maybe your C or your fan is failing you can set a low rpm limit so if it goes below that rpm it's going to give you a warning um, that's obviously good if your fans fail you know, you don't want your CPU fan to fail. It could really over, or overheat your CPU. So you can set all that up on all the different fans and everything like that. Also fan overtime. So this is going to allow your fans to continually run after you shut down your system and you can set how many minutes after that will happen. You can set it up to 10 minutes. So you can set your fans to run up to 10 minutes after your, your computer shuts down. Go into boot and of course this is your you know where you're going to set up all of your boot devices and all of that stuff um, you can set up everything right in here um, for your boot sequence and everything and it's you can also do boot boot override so you know if i need to quickly boot to a different device than my normal device i can just go ahead and select it here hit enter and it's going to boot right there and then we have some tools here we have the easy flash too this is going to easily allow you to flash your bio so if we go into that it's going to show us here that, uh, we do, of course, we don't have a BIOS on here, but this is a flash drive that I have connected to the actual, um, to the motherboard, and it will show a BIOS if I had one, and um, we can easily update our BIOS. So we can exit out of there. And we're back in here, the OC profile. So what this does is you can set up an OC profile. You can set up up to eight, it looks like, um, profiles here that you know you can load and save um, just so you know you have it saved in there. So if you want to easily um, overclock or any type of profile, whether it's an overclocking profile, maybe a power saving profile, whatever you want to do, you can save it in here. And of course, you can load and save profiles from a USB drive. And we can... Go out of that and of course asus spd information so this is going to show you all of your spd information for your memory so if you're having memory problems you can go in and check all of that now there are some cool things um, that are new in this bios uh, first thing would be my favorites so you can go over here and set favorites um, so say maybe one thing that i want in my favorites would be uh, my xmp so all we have to do is go over to our you know overclock tuner and we're going to set it to xmp maybe that's something that i want to have in my favorites all i do is i hit f4 and you're going to add it to my favorites page and now we go over to my favorites and it's right in there so you know digging through menus while asus makes it really easy to find everything still digging through menus and everything might not be the best especially if you know what you're going to change and you're changing the same settings all of the time you can easily add them to your my favorites right here um just makes it really really easy another cool thing about the bios that they've added in the z87 um bios is, is quick note and what that does is if we click on it we can actually take notes. So say I try to overclock to 4.8. Uh, overclock to 4.8 didn't work. So we can put that in there and we can hit save and quit. So we go back into our quick note. It's always there. This is good. You know, when I'm overclocking and where I'm changing things in the BIOS, I always take notes anyways. So to have it saved in the BIOS, you know, maybe I'm somewhere with my system and I don't have my notes with me. You know, it's always right there in the BIOS. And then the finally, the last thing that's actually really, really cool is if we go to exit and we hit save changes and we're going to reset, it's actually going to show us everything that we changed. So, you know, maybe you change something or you're not sure what you changed before it's going to save everything. It is actually going to show you all of that stuff. So that's one of the coolest things about this BIOS is it's going to show you all of the changes that you've made on your current um, BIOS, which I really, really like. So that's basically it here for our quick overview of the UEFI BIOS on ASUS's Z87 Sabertooth motherboard. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember, guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.